Welcome to A State of Sight. I'm Isaac Porter and this is your update in ophthalmology and eye care coming right here from Lowry Porter Ophthalmology in Raleigh. Uh, today I would like to explain migraine because with migraines many people can get visual changes that can be very worrisome if they didn't know what was happening. Uh, these visual changes are called an aura and usually start before the headache where people will say they notice bright flashing or jagged lines usually starting in the center of the vision and then slowly expanding moving towards the side and then moving out of the vision. Many times this can take about 15 to 25 minutes in order to go away completely and it can be very difficult to see through this area when it's in the vision. Uh, these bright lines can be noticed even when people close both eyes because it actually occurs back in the brain where we see that these images are generated they're not actually coming from the eyes. I've had this myself a few times and it can be pretty difficult to see when it's happening. If you look on Google and search under images for migraine aura you can see many interpretations that people have created to show what they saw with this type of visual symptom from the migraine and you may identify something that you have seen before if you have these type of migraine with aura. After the visual changes it's possible to have a headache which many people have that's what we call classic migraine or people may not have a headache afterwards which we would just call the migraine without headache where only they see the visual changes. Uh, migraines are very common. We see them more frequently in females compared to males. We also see it more frequently in people that have a history of migraines in their family with parents or other relatives. Usually these headaches are mostly to one side and can have a throbbing or pulsating character. Uh, people can get nauseated when they have a migraine, be very sensitive to light and sound and it can be worse if they have to be up and active so many times they'll prefer to rest when they have a migraine. There are several triggers that some people can notice that cause them to have a migraine including hormone changes or lack of sleep. Also many foods could cause a migraine trigger uh, like chocolate or wine or caffeine, cheese, many different things and if these can be identified potentially avoiding them may keep people from having migraines as frequently as they do. Fortunately there's great treatments with medicine both to stop the migraines once they start and also to prevent migraines in people that have them very frequently. I remember a few years ago my wife noticed these visual changes from the migraine aura and she was very worried but once I had a chance to explain to her what was happening uh, she felt a lot better about it because it can be pretty frightening if you notice these for the first time. So if you have any questions about migraine or any visual symptoms that you may have seen with migraine please post your comments we'll be happy to interact with you and we hope to see you again soon next time on A State of Sight.